Well, you know, they're, they're really good. I mean, that's, that's all I've had to say. And I think it all starts in the post with uh, number 21. I mean, he he's a, he's a beast. We don't have anybody can guard him one-on-one. And, and, uh, and because of it, you know, it creates open people at other spots. You know, we have to double him. We have to dig down so hard. And, and uh, you know, he's a great player. I know that he'll win the MVP of this league, but he ought to get some votes, I'll tell you that. A kid named Jenkins probably gets a little more talk, but uh, he's a great player, I'll tell you that. You know, he, he's a huge part of their success, but, you know, I, I'm really proud of our team. I thought we competed like champions today. I thought we got really tired the last six, seven minutes, eight minutes of that ball game, and it really ran out of juice, but we really competed like champions today. And that was really important to me as a coach to see that competitive spirit. And that's going to bode well for next weekend. It's going to bode well for our future, I think. Not necessarily, what, what were you um, frustrated by their chance that you're making at all? They fouled three times in the second half, which is amazing. Uh, that's, I just lost my cool. But, uh, <laughs> sometimes old men deserve that opportunity. Physical game, and, and they fouled three times. So they, you know. But Julian Quinn, <coughs> excuse me, mentioned that they thought that this team has improved over the last couple of weeks. Last three weeks, four weeks of our season have been really important. I mean, we are so much better than we were. I know that's easy to say. But I think you watch us if you understand. It. You, know, we, you know, halfway through the season, we made some major lineup changes, and uh, it's, our guys are really understanding some roles right now, and we're playing well. I mean, we're, we're not as good defensive as we need. You know, and that's what we do in our defensive approach is unusual. What we do is a little confusing. Uh, when we're good at it, we confuse our opponents. I think we're confusing ourselves more than our opponents right now. And, uh, a lot of that's just you. We don't, we don't always make the right rotations. And, um, but you know, we're pretty good offensively. You know, we didn't shoot it very well today. But we're pretty good offensively. Uh, and I've not told our team this. I think in some ways, this team is better offensively than last year's team. We have more weapons. But we don't hold a can by our offensive the world war a year ago. And we'll get there. We'll get there. I love this team. Yeah, now, love the, this team. now the regular season is over. Are you surprised at how well these young players took to play, you know, in a tough division one conference? Uh, not completely. I mean I really uh, on paper, you know, and believe me, I understand it's paper, but I thought it's probably one of the better freshman classes we brought in. And uh, and they're living up to those expectations. Uh, you know, Tim Rusto is also a very good player that physically just got man out tonight. We just had to get him off the floor a little bit. He's not ready for that. But, uh, and Fred Eldring, I think, is going to be a good player. Just not getting a lot of minutes right now. Um, you know, our, I think the last three or four weeks, our, our youthful guys have grown up a lot. Uh, the last, sorry, you want to shoot him out of the zone, he had some chances there. He had three, please. He's going to hit a few more shots, maybe we've got a more favorable. Uh, Man. Yeah, you know, so we cut it to four there in the late I mean, I don't know, I don't know the time, but you know, halfway through the second half, maybe. And uh, that's it, <coughs> key, key sequence right there. We cut it to four. Uh, Brandon missed the second end of a, of a one and one, which we cut to three. And then I'm not, I think I have this correct. But they came down, we fouled Hassel himself. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that. But, and he missed two free throws. And then they called us for a foul. On the rebound, we were inside. We got a foul called. Then Finney made two. It's a big sequence in that ball game. Uh, and, uh, I forgot what your question was. Oh, I was just saying, give that guy out of the zone a little, a little yeah. more than you had some. Yeah, they have a great zone. It's as good as I've ever played against. I mean, I, I really mean that sincerely. We played Syracuse this year, and uh, I think Old Dominion is better. I mean, I, I don't want to get war with Jim Beheim, but. Uh, I mean, this is a great defensive ball. Game. And uh, I've said this at our place. If they shoot the ball the way they shot it today, there are not too many people they can't shoot. I really mean that. I mean, we played in North Carolina this year, and we played in Syracuse. And, um, they're pretty good. Yeah. 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 I'll let their coaches do that. I mean, that they're both really good. I mean, I think. You know, if I had to make a quick comparison, I'd say uh, 
Mason's better offensively. I mean, they score more points. They, they're more of an up-tempo basketball team. I don't think anybody in our, in our league's any better defensively than Ole Miss. I really don't. Know. One thing about it, you know, they, these Ole Miss guys shoot the ball. I mean, they, there, there's some teams in our conference can match up inside with them better than we do. So they got to make shots. And tonight they did. But, you know, they're great. They're great both ball club, both of them. It's senior day here. You've been playing 10 times now. You've coached against James and Finney and Cassell and Keon Carter. I mean, can you, as competitors, can you, you know, say a little more about what you want as going into those guys four times in the game? Any regular season? Well, you know, in, in three of those four, I believe, are fifth year players, too. Uh, so they're. They're four or five years older than Julian Butler right now, you know, and, and, and they're physically more They're great players. They seem to be great kids. I don't know them on a personal level, but, you know, I, I walked out to watch the senior presentation. I wanted to applaud for this. Yeah, they've been a great, great group, you know, for four years and uh, won a lot of basketball games. I mean, they set up, you know, I think Old Dominion's got a great tradition in basketball, but uh, you know, I think these guys maybe have taken it to a new level. There's all what makes it really tough in the length of it, or just uh, what makes it tough to really deal with from your guys' perspective. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're really long. They have a lot of really good athletes that do a great job of playing in the passing lanes. Um, and their strength is definitely from the inside out. So uh, to beat it, uh, it's hard to beat from the inside. Uh, we try to, uh, try to sh shoot, at, shoot them out of it um, and get it at times. But over a game, it, uh, it, it's pretty tough to beat. They do a great job. Um, all the guys, big guys in the CAA, it seems like Frank gives you guys a sell in more trouble than you can fall with. What is it about Frank's way he plays? I know he had a big game for each card. He has big games with a lot of people, but it just seems like he's got I don't know if there's anything. He doesn't like us particularly or something like that, but. Uh, He's, he's a great player, and um, I really respect him um, and what he can do. And he just makes everybody else better because he's such a threat. How about the glass and close enough one-on-one? Uh, -on -one. Um, so that opens up other things for other guys. It's tough for yourself. I think you just talk about your day shooting. Uh, well, just the goal going in was to start shooting on the zone, like Clint said. So. That's what we did. Guys got it. We got open shots. We were passing the ball on his own trying to work. So we were just trying to get in the gap and fire away. So that was our goal. You got a lot of zone. You kind of maybe you guys have a smaller line. More small. You can sort of push them that way. Yeah, with our with our man to man offense, we, we thought that we could take advantage of them man to man. We got a lot of We did at times, but we just didn't shoot too well. This is such a young team. Now that the regular season is in, uh, looking back at the way you all have taken some of the young players and meshed so well at such a young age, you have to be confident about your future uh, for the next, especially next year and the next couple of years after that. Uh, year, 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 year. Yeah, yeah, it was, it's great. It's we got me and Brandon, Tim and Fred. We're all getting ready for this season. We're got, we have great leadership with Quinn, Ken, and, and kids. So. We feel like we have a good future with the tribe. We're trying to get it done in the CA tournament this upcoming week. Craig, can you talk a little bit about um, the CA tournament this weekend? Yeah, I mean, the season's not over. The regular season's over. But um, uh, our, one thing that our coaches have harped on to us is how much better we are now than we were a couple weeks ago. And uh, that's been a, a, uh, one of the positive traits of this team is that um, we uh, continually kept getting better. Um, through some pretty tough times in, uh, during the year. I think we want, lost something like 10 games or something within four or five points. Um, and it's real easy to get it um, to get down and to uh, just kind of throw in the towel. But uh, our coach has done a great job of um, staying positive and uh, just harping on that we need to get better every day. And um, I, I think we've, uh, we've gotten there. Uh, we're not we're not this level yet, but I think we're getting there. And, uh, um, yeah, our, our goals are, um, are set solely on next weekend um, and, and nothing else. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of time off and, and wrap it back up.